So today's quick tip is a really simple one. If you have multiple monitors in your studio or even an ultra wide monitor like I've got, then you're gonna find this really useful because Ableton has a feature where you can open up a second window. Now this is useful if you do have multiple monitors because you can have two different views on different monitors. But what if you've only got one monitor like I've got? Well, actually you can do exactly the same thing. The feature still works exactly the same. And I'm gonna show you in this video today, a few different ways that I use this feature to kind of really improve my workflow. Okay, so let's have a look at this amazing little feature within Ableton and how I find it a real workflow booster. Now I have an LG ultra wide monitor. It's great for fitting that whole arrangement on there, but obviously I could probably make better use of the screen within here. Now, one of the most annoying things I find within Ableton, which annoys me sometimes when I kind of double click into an audio file, for example, it then pops up the editor really large and I'm losing all of that arrangement. And I find myself constantly rearranging how high this audio editor is or how high the piano roll is and that just find I just find that a little bit annoying I like the way that the plugins kind of only take a small amount at the bottom of the screen and I kind of wish the editor did the same thing so let's look at this little feature within Ableton that allows us to open up a second window if I go to view you can see there's an option under there for second window when I click on that it opens up a brand new view now this is always the option opposite of what your main view is. So if you're in the arrangement on your main view, then it will open up with the session view. And what you can do is then resize the windows to make it fit how you want to. So you can see here, I have the main arrangement window taken up about two thirds of the width of my screen. And then on the right hand side, I now have the session view. So this is great. I can actually see my whole arrangement on the left hand side here. And then I can also adjust the levels on the right, which is really, really handy. However, my favorite feature within this is, is that this bottom window here is now defaulted to the editor, so the audio editor. So I'm gonna resize this window a bit here. I don't need all the clips at the top here. I can actually resize this all the way up. And now when I click on one of these audio files within here, it shows in that right hand window. This whole arrangement view doesn't get changed. I still maintain the plugins down here, but I can actually load up anything from the piano roll or audio sample or whatever in that right hand menu. Nothing changes within here and that makes my life so much easier. So as you can see there, I've got full control over everything. I've got everything on screen at the same time. I've got my arrangement, I've got my plugins, I've got all my different channels here so I can actually go through and mix my track if I want to. And then I also have the piano roll or the audio editor right here. And of course I can customize this however I want to. So I can make this a little bit wider, for example, I could do this as split screen almost. It's totally up to you how you wanna do this. And if you have multiple monitors, then you can put one of these on one monitor and one on the other monitor. Now you can also switch between session views and arrangement views whenever you want to. So I've now gone back to a two thirds arrangement view and a one third session view, but I can actually use the switch here so I can switch between arrangement and session. So I now have session on the left and arrangement on the right. You can actually do it however you want to. And this is really, really useful. So as you can see, it's a really simple feature to use and you can kind of set it up exactly how you want to, whatever makes sense for your workflow. For me, it's all about that audio editor and the piano roll, just having it off to the side and out of the way because I don't know about you, but when I click on a clip within my arrangement and then that audio editor or the piano roll just takes over everything, it seems to resize itself every single time that I use it. And it always seems to take up all of that arrangement view and I just can't see anything else. So having it off to the side and out of the way at that fixed height really works for me. And I tell you what, I don't really use the session view to kind of mix my track, but I know a lot of people that do. So having those controls up there to the right hand side or even to the left, if you want to kind of switch the views around, then that could really work for a lot of people. So I definitely recommend playing around with this feature and seeing what you come up with. And don't forget to leave some comments below. Let me know what your setups are. Let me know how you're kind of using this feature and whether it's kind of helped your workflow because I really think it will do. Now, I hope this video has been useful to you. Definitely check out the rest of my channel because I've got a whole load more tips, tricks, Ableton stuff, live production stuff, a whole lot of stuff on my channel. So definitely check out my channel, subscribe to it, hit that notification bell so you're notified the moment I upload a brand new video and hopefully I'll see you again in the next one.